to develop a new generation of open source technology platforms to power the public sector. We are experiencing a breakdown in the trust required to power society successfully. Globally, the cost of corruption is $3.1 trillion. The cost of tax evasion is $3.6 trillion. You put those numbers together, and it is enough to pay for all of the sustainable development goal. Only 17% of Americans trust their government. We are going to enter a world in the not distant future where authoritarian nations, by virtue of their dramatically expanded use of technology, are going to know more about every citizen in their society than prior governments could have known about any citizen. Many leaders in democratic governments have started complaining about the authoritarian fusion of big technology and data and government, that the big tech model that we see in the United States and some other democracies is not a real alternative. It is a form of digital feudalism. And the challenge that we are going to face in the 21st century, in an era of artificial intelligence and big data, is designing decentralized systems, designing decentralized frameworks that can preserve the edge for democratic societies in a world that's going to look very different and in a data landscape that's going to look very different. We are seeing the emergence of a new generation of governance platforms that harness the power of decentralized systems like blockchain and artificial intelligence to deliver astonishing benefits for the citizens of democratic societies. So two years ago, we brought together a group of leaders from around the world, heads of government, some of the top open source technologists society, uh, in, in, on the planet, and asked a simple question. Would it be possible to design institutions in a box, open source, de decentralized technology systems that could give everyone on the planet access to these same types of gains? If you look at the governments that are succeeding in meeting this challenge, places like South Korea, places like New Zealand, places like Taiwan or Estonia, they are all running their institutions on world-class digital governance systems. We need to set a goal. And in my mind, that goal is to provide every democratic society with access to world-class, open-source, decentralized technology platforms to power more effective institutions by 2030, the target date for the UN Sustainable Development Goals. This year on the margins of the UN General Assembly, I was fortunate to bring together leaders from around the planet, including the Prime Minister of Norway, the President of the Gates Foundation, leaders from the World Economic Forum, the Linux Foundation, the Omidyar Network, the Rockefeller Foundation, and many of the top multilateral bodies that work on these issues, to start to build a consensus behind a digital decade, a decade during which we will create the architecture required to power the institutions of the future. We are, for example, working with the state of New Jersey right now to deploy an open source platform that's helping their citizens connect with jobs using the power of artificial intelligence. We're collaborating with New York City and Baltimore to create a, a new platform that will give individuals ownership of their information while simultaneously proving their eligibility for critical public services. This is going to be vital at a moment when our unemployment insurance systems and other benefit platforms are breaking under the burden imposed by the pandemic. We need new mechanisms that are going to make it quicker and easier for individuals to gain access to the tools they need, the raw material they're going to require in order to rebuild their lives while simultaneously preserving their custody and control of the information required to do that. We're collaborating with the World Bank, MIT, and an array of other partners on issues around public finance and taxation, which will be critical to closing that $3.6 trillion gap that is created by tax evasion, uh, that is largely responsible for the deficit, the global deficit of funding for the UN Sustainable Development Goals. And we're collaborating with partners like the Open Contracting Partnership 
to develop new open source tools to power public procurement, a $30 trillion engine of global engagement worldwide that could, if used more effectively, enable our institutions and communities to come back from this crisis more quickly. If we do this right, we will emerge with a comprehensive government operating system, a series of modular open source decentralized platforms that use the power of blockchain and the power of other innovations that are coming online today to enable citizens to lead their lives in the way they want to, to control their information and to solve the immense global challenges that we are confronting at this moment. Today, we run a real risk that tools that have been invented in free societies, technologies that have been invented ostensibly to unlock greater freedom and greater transparency and accountability within our nations are going to be co-opted as we provide more equitable access to data, as we provide individuals with greater accountability and transparency in how their information is being used, will unlock progress the likes of which today we cannot imagine.